I was pre-shuffling, by the way, Lovers was at the bottom. I'm just saying. <laughs> so I gotta be like that. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Big fight. Okay. From lovers to um, enemies. Okay. You care, you give, you love, you nurture, and then you get disrespected. What else is new? Mm -hmm. Pisces, right? But you're not coming here, Pisces, because you're upset with them. You actually smother this person with kindness. Mm -hmm. I do say dear astrology here together with Tarot and I do my crystal recommendation. Okay, if you guys are new. So let's talk about how your intuition told you that this person is like, oh, you gotta be nice to this person. You gotta take care of them. Okay. You gotta be uh, more caring, ca caring, caring, and generous and like you gotta give it all. You know, this is what you're what you're feeling here. Uh -huh. I'm seeing that your person is quite the opposite to that one. Lashes out and co makes everything complicated. Mm -hmm. Miscommunication is here also. Always changing their mind. Now, the new moon happened in your fifth house, Pisces, in Cancer. Which is going to be like a very emotional time for you. This was uh, two days ago. So five days prior and probably five days right now. Um... You, um, you may have this feeling. The moon is still in Cancer. Okay. Sidereal. Sun is there now, officially Cancer season. So it's two degrees. I do Sidereal, not Western, so don't try to correct me. Um, Mercury is um, in a watery sign, which means Mercury is debilitated in your sign. However, um, it doesn't stop you from wanting to talk to them. Okay. Which led to this whole separation. I feel like you wanted to hear something from them. They didn't want to deal right now. And then SHIT hits the fan. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like the Pisces held back. You have four of Pentacles and you focus on your work and your career right now. We'll talk about that also. You felt like this is too impossible. I tried everything, you know. That you know that you have control of in your hands with the magician and your person is quite, you know, like they didn't want to resolve it. You wanted peace, you wanted balance, you wanted security in this relationship and they, re they refused to address that. Okay. Now, we have to understand that if you're a Pisces ascendant, your Badaka house is your seventh house, your partnership, Badaka is an obstacle, badhaka, okay? So having an obstacle as your seventh house, we look at Mercury. Mercury is very important for you, okay? Um, Jupiter is important, it's a Lagna Lord, but if we're dealing about relationship, Mercury is very important because that rules your relationship. Wherever Mercury is, it's going to be complicated, okay? Because a badhaka Lord. So you have struggled with relationship because you'll find that your person has duality, Mercury rules the seventh, which is Virgo. Right now, again, watery sign. So wishy-washy, you know. Um, they're also, I'm seeing here, they're going out with their friends. You know, they're probably like, oh, uh, you know, like, you can spend time with them, but you don't spend time with me, right? But you're not needy. I don't think so. I don't see that. Not at all. Uh, I'm seeing that you're having some sort of issue also. If you are a moon in Pisces, of course, that's your sadisati. You're entering to a very stressful kind of time for you if you're a moon in Pisces. But right now, for you, is what you're asking is like, where do you want to take this? Because you're willing, of a magician in Eight of Cups, to do as much, you know, only if your person allows, right? Wow, we're willing to do as much. I would only recommend things that I have used for manifestation of wealth. One thing for sure, using this Piao. It has made my business grow, thrive. I mean, the money bag. It is secure. Wear it on your left wrist and you will never regret it. I have used it. I hope it has the same effect for you. With the star card. Now, the star is, I feel like you know, like, oh, no, we can make it. We can make it happen. You're not giving up here. 
Magician with a star. Because you know, like, we just need to understand each other. Six of Swords and the Four of Wands. So you're more into that. Now, for people who's manifesting something about their career and their success, about their money, okay? Now, today is the last day for our Piao and our Multiple Fortune. So this is our lucky Piao. I wear mine, of course, on, uh, on my right wrist right now. And a Multiple Fortune. We ship international and it's available different sizes. Let me show it to you. Left wrist for you. Okay, Pisces. And my, our Pearl collection is coming. Oh, this is amazing also. I'll talk about more about Pearl next time. Okay. But this is the PL. Okay. Now, the way that gold works, it purifies, it's sattvic, it heals. So it's good if you have any kind of issue health-wise. That's why kings wear it. You have to be, especially like moon rules your fifth house. If you want to stabilize someone that you're dating, uh -huh. you gotta use pearl. Pearl is soothing, it's calming. Okay. It relieves the stress. Let me see your person. What's going on? Jupiter with Rahu, Lagna Lord, together with Rahu, so quite confused again. You'll meet someone, but you have to let go of someone also. For some people who's ready to just say goodbye with this person. Oh, your person took a step back and decided to pursue something else in their life. Because Eight of Wands is here. Okay. So their direction, they told you that. It's like, no, Pisces, I don't want what you want. I want my freedom. It's going to be a Sag also. Okay. Now, but your person refused because you have here the Hierophant. The way I see this right now is like they give you mix, very mixed signal. Okay. Because you have the Hierophant. Don't tell me you want your freedom and then, you know, like, and then tell me like you also want to be with me. Like, that doesn't make sense. You got the Eight of Wands and the Hierophant. So this is where you kind of get got stuck. Okay, because they're saying here, like, no, have faith. Don't give up. Don't give up. And yet, we're not together. You broke up. Mm. But this is them wishful thinking. You're very closed off right now. Oh, maybe not anymore. Do you have the Ace of Swords over here, Pisces? And the Nine of Wands, Seven of Cups, the Justice, Three of Pentacles, and the Sun. Okay. I'm seeing here right now, Ace of Swords, Nine of Wands, is at your person. Okay. They want to put this to a rest, Pisces. If you guys can. But... I feel like it only serves them. That's not good. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's one-sided. You have the sun and the eight of pentacles. Um, the sun is in the fifth house for you, so everything right now is like you're seeing everything clearly with your person. They're so focused on this business or this career. You know, so three of pentacles is like perfecting a skill, so they may go in seminars and workshops. Sun is fame and success, but this is more of a leader type of person. Seven of Cups with a Justice. This is a person who's, who's a jack of all trades, master of none. Okay, because they try everything to pursue. Even you, you're one of those people that they pursue. But then they would... They like to start, but they never like to finish. Or not like finish, they can never finish. <laughs> no pun intended over there. Mm -hmm. Just saying. So where is this now? <laughs> Head advices. Oh, getting interesting, Sal. Mm -hmm. Now, there is some truth to what they're about to tell you because Ace of Swords with the Sun card, that's victory. We love that. Mm -hmm. So this could be like the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Why your person is this? They're in the Five of Cups mode. Felt abandoned or left out. Okay. Yeah, definitely abandoned. You got a five cups and a tower. What's going on with your person? You know? Hmm. And they think about you, Queen of Cups. I know that's a concern card, but you're, that's your first card there. 
They want to know why you have been... Oh, okay. There's a lot of people involved here. We got a King of Cups, Queen of Wands, King of Swords, and a Queen of Cups. I feel like there's a lot. Either you're married and they're married, so needs divorce before it can happen. You have a person, they have a person. So the two of you need to decide before you guys can get together. Or you didn't know that they're married, but you understand me. So there's a lot. So you would know your situation in that kind. This is not like, it's not about third party, but you already knew that your person comes with other things. Does it make sense? So it's not like they, this was hidden. There was, there's multiple people involved. I see it. And more people. King of Pentacles. There's three kings here, not unless you're dealing with the Magi. Okay. So, but very, like, your person is a boss. Money, that's what they like. Work, they like. They can be obsessive about their career. Okay. But then, with regards to relationship, I feel like that's their weakness. Now, their next action is here. And the conversation that you will have with them is going to be very, very tricky. Because this is, I'm seeing here, oh. Okay. I'm seeing here that their next action will shock you because this is going to be like their final decision. If you are connecting with this reading and you want to know more what's going on and what's going to, going to happen, link in the description box below for the extended reading. I will see you down there or you can click at any corner of this video. 